You can just have this plug it into the back of your TV or any monitor and they will convert it into a computer system. In this video I have the Azu XS Plus which is a fanless Windows 10 mini PC stick. You can read your emails, watch videos, play games, do the Internet Explorer, do some Skyping, basically anything a computer can do in a little stick. It has a quad core 1.4 gigahertz. It is fanless so you won't hear any noise and it also has 4 gigs of RAM which is really nice and 32 gigs of storage. Let's take it out real quick. Quick guide right here what to do, what how to set it up. HDMI extender. And here it is. This is the whole entire PC. And this is the AC adapter to power this up. It is a micro USB. So again, this is what replaces a tower PC. We have a lock, Ethernet, and headphone jack. And on the side, we have a USB then a super speed with 3.0 and then a micro USB for the charging and then we have the power. If it's a little awkward to stick in the back of your TV, that's why this comes in handy. You can just plug this into here, mount it somewhere, hide it behind the TV. We have the antenna right here for Wi-Fi so we don't even need to have an Ethernet connected wired and a micro SD expansion port so you can put more memory on here. But for the majority of people, this is going to be plenty of power and performance to be able to use and replace as a PC. This is my thumbnail. All right, so the next thing to do is just plug it into any monitor and I'm gonna be plugging it into my monitor that's facing straight ahead. I'm gonna plug it into this monitor right here. For now, I'll just leave it right here. Obviously, I can tuck it and hide it. I don't need to be seeing it. Here's the power cable, plug it right in. You can see there's a blue indicator light meaning that it has power to it. Okay, so let's turn the monitor on. On the side we have a power button, so I'm going to hold it, and we can see Azul technology inspired by real people. So we're going to let that boot up, but now, how do I control it? I can't touch it, I need to have a keyboard and a mouse. So Azul happens to work and bundle with Logitech, there's a mouse and keyboard. Also a big fan of Logitech since I love their keyboards, there's one that I've been using for the last four years, love it, love it, love it, but there's not a mouse on here. It's okay, you don't have to use this, you can use your own special kind. It's a basic yet simple functional keyboard. Now this is what's gonna give the signal. We'll just plug it into the normal USB. And I don't need to install it. Now right away you can see that I got the mouse working right here. That simple, while this boots up PC multifunctional remote control, which is able to use it as a wand. It's universal, so it doesn't need to just work on this product here. It can work on your PC that you already have. Break the seal. Look at that. So this looks like to be the wand receiver. So we've got the Windows key, standby, we can see the navigation, this is the mouse control, and then play pause, home, and on-screen keyboard that'll pop up, or you switch to the back, and you get a full laid out keyboard. If you're on the bed, you don't wanna lay this on your lap or it's uncomfortable, you can just have this floating all on your fingertips here. Oh, we have started, place that down. Once we pass the boot screen, you can see here, right away, I'm able to get my full widescreen. I didn't have to configure anything. It's already at my 29 inches. So now, I can do the first thing that I always do. And I'm going to be downloading Chrome. All right, so we're gonna take this out. It takes AAA batteries. We got a little blue LED indicator right there. Okay, so now the moment of truth, let's stick this right in. And there it goes, look at that. You can see there, it's pointing at the screen. Let me zoom into it. That's like having a Wii remote. And let's click on there. Got brought up. Let's run. Nice. Microphone for voice actions is the right click button. So you can see you can wand it around and you can turn the mouse off and it stops wandering. You don't need to use it on this device. You literally just plug it into your old PC or your new PC you're about to buy and this will control it as a mouse so you can have a wand. Now you can see that it's in the middle and if I don't want, if and what if I'm turning somewhere else? I can go against the wall and it won't go past but now you can see that it goes up here and if I go against this wall then I can fix it into being where it needs to go. Volume up, volume down. Nice, works nice. We got the start menu right here by clicking there. We're gonna type in cool loser tech. Press enter, got cool loser tech there. 
you get the idea. We have Chrome browser now installed. I always install it because it's just what I have everything signed in with all my devices. Now this PC stick is a little bit better than the Byte Plus. It has four gigs of RAM, so it'll handle multitasking a little bit better and some more gaming. Go into control panel, task manager. The CPU is pretty calm right now. You can see me moving the mouse. It's still at 2%, 3% memory, 35% used performance. You get 3.9 gigabytes. This is gonna perform very nicely. But the great part about it is that you can take this on the go. That easy, that's all you have to do. If you're interested in this little bundle, it'll be in the description down below. You can buy it without it. Thank you Azul for sending me this in to showcase to my subscribers. I think it's gonna be a great product to convert your TVs or monitors into mini PCs instead of having to have those bulky big computers that you have to have laying around on your desk. And it's gonna perform just like a regular PC that you would buy. Yes, you're not gonna be able to play heavy graphic gaming. This is not what it is. You shouldn't expect that performance of a more powerful expensive PC out there meant for gaming but you get the idea it's kind of like having your Google Chromecast but there you guys have it until next time I will see you guys later